Hello YouTube and welcome to File Interaction and in this we'll be going over creating directories which are folders, um, deleting files and copying files. So we'll be uh, going over that now and in order to create a folder use the command make uh, mkdir which uh, ignore that I was making something to harass a friend. It would create like a hundred folders in his desktop every time he booted up his computer. Um, I'll tell you that at the end, how to do that at the end. So um, first you want to use mkdir, which is short for make directory. And then say I want to make it new folder. I'll make it that so that you... I don't want to pause at the end. But I'll name it this so that you see it, and let's see if I run this, I get new folder by batch. It just created that in the relative file path. And what, a rel what this does is it puts this new directory in the same directory as, sorry, ignore ig my dogs, they only bark when I'm making a tutorial, I, I don't understand it. But, um, it uh, it doesn't specify a drive or like okay if I were to specify the actual location on my drive it would be C users users and settings and then uh, my username and then desktop slash whatever directory I wanted to create that's the actual file location but um, if you're making a batch file to distribute somewhere, you don't want to do that. That's called a definite file path. And that refers to the file where it is on your hard drive. But if you wanted to send the batch file somewhere, then that location might not be present on their, on their hard drive. And you especially don't want to depend on files that are made by a definite file path because then those files wouldn't be there. Because, I mean, obviously even in that example, uh, your users wouldn't have the same um, the same username, so you couldn't even do that. So it's good practice to contain everything within a folder and use relative file paths as much as possible. So uh, I just demonstrated that. Then we'll do copy. So let's see, I'll copy distribution to folder X and actually make folder X so this will copy the contents of this folder into folder X so I'll run that and it made just it just made folder X as you can see and it now has the contents of distribution everything has been copied yep and now for deleting things, use the command del. And be aware that when you're using del, which is obviously short for delete, um, it bypasses the recycle bin. So unless you feel like depending on data recovery software, don't use this unless you know what you're doing. So if I want to delete a folder or a file, I'll make a new text document del this. So I will delete del this dot text. And when I run that, del this dot text disappears. That's because it is uh it's deleted. Now onto that spamming thing that I was where I originally had this titled lol spam. Um in order to do that we'll need to use the for loop that we learned in Intro to Loops. Ig ignore them again. They're probably barking at a bunny or something. But um, we're going to expand on the options for that for loop that we learned. So if we start off with for, we'll add the slash L, which we didn't have before. And what that will allow us to do is specify three parameters for the for loop's dimensions. I mean, dimensions, I don't know what you call them, arguments. Um, so the first one is the starting point. So if we start at one, and then the middle point, the middle uh, argument is the step. And that's 
the step by which it increments. And then 10 is the ending. That's where it where it ends. And then we'll do the parentheses just like last time. So we can address, we can use percent percent %g in the for loop. So if we do make dir uh, let's do percent percent %g. So this will just make a folder for the value of g every time within this loop. And um, so if I if I run this program I now have folders labeled 1 through 10 and you can imagine how annoying it would be if they, someone did that for like a hundred or a thousand and uh, yeah that's how you spam with for loops and the make dir thing so have fun spamming also use this information for legitimate causes at, at least at some point